All right, so <clears throat> I am recording this video because there was a question on uh, tonight's lab that uh, was pertaining to a calculation on incidence versus prevalence calculation uh, out of 100,000 individuals that I think confused a lot of people. And uh, granted, the question was a little confusing in the way that it's worded. I'm not the one that wrote the question. Um, but I had a lot of students that were asking about uh, ways in which that you conceptualize and solve the problem that was presented in the question. So this was for the epidemic simulation. And uh, in the epidemic simulation, there was a couple pages here. This was on the post lab questions, question number uh, two. So in the question, it provided a chart that talked about incidence, sorry, uh, HIV prevalence and incidence uh, between the years 1980 and uh, 2000. So let me just go ahead and label it here, HIV prevalence and incidence um, in the US between 1980 to year 2010. Now, um, HIV, the um, epidemic uh, began effectively around 1981. That's when young, healthy, or previously healthy men started to come down with uh, pneumocystis pneumonia, PCP pneumonia, um, as a consequence of pneumocystis gyrovecchi. So anyways, that's what happened back in 1980. And then from then, you started seeing the rates of uh, incidents per year, because those are going to be new cases per year, those started to increase um, every year. Uh, and then the overall prevalence, that's the overall number of infected individuals in a given population. So the prevalence is going to constantly go up in numbers every single year, especially because this is a chronic illness. HIV is incurable. So every subsequent year, you're going to get an increased number of the total uh, case rate. Whereas incidents, uh, that's going to be the number of new cases on an annual basis. So in the early 80s, up until about 1985, you saw kind of like a plateau in the number of new cases. And uh, this is when public awareness uh, helped to mitigate those new cases. In the early 80s, the numbers were going up because people didn't really know exactly what the hell was going on. They didn't know how this disease or this virus was being transmitted from patient to patient. So until the 1985-ish, that's when you started seeing a decrease in the number of incidents or new cases per year. But despite those cases uh, plateauing on an annual basis in terms of incidents, you have an, an increased number of prevalence. That's because despite uh, this, you know, steady rate of incidence per year, you're, you know, this, this is all contributing to the overall prevalence of the disease. So this question that uh, was on the worksheet, number two, okay, number two, it said in the year 2000, okay, so that's going to be right here in the year 2000, total U.S. population was approximately 281 million people. So 281 million people uh, total. I'm sorry, I'm using my mouse pad. So my handwriting is going to kind of suck here. But let's just go 281M for million. So in this figure, uh, estimate the incidence rate and the prevalence rate per 100,000. Sorry, I was supposed to put a parenthetical right there for HIV in the year 2000. Okay. So we're looking for the number of cases, okay, that's going to be a number of cases in terms of both incidents, right? So that's going to be incidents uh, per 100,000 people, okay? And then for prevalence, also the same thing, the number of uh, uh, individuals that are infected per 100,000 in any given population. In this case, we're gonna be talking about the United States population. All right, so let's get into it. So right now, let's uh, figure out some of these, the key variables that we're gonna be working with. So we're looking at the year 2000. In terms of incidence, which is gonna be this portion right here, that's gonna be 
I didn't color code these lines, but it's going to be the bottom line of the graph. Right here, we have about 50,000 people uh, coming down with cases of HIV per year. So I'm going to just write down incidence as I. So that's going to be 50,000 people. Okay, so that's five, zero, zero, zero. That is 50,000 people. Um, in terms of prevalence, that I'm going to write down as P. So that's going to be this line right up here. So this spot right here, 850,000 people during the year 2000. Um, that's the total number of cases of HIV within the population. Okay, so that's 850,000. 85000. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the question is, uh, what is the overall percentage of incidence and prevalence within the total population? So the total population of the United States was 281 million people. So in other words, for incidence specifically, that would be 50,000 divided by, so I'm going to go ahead and say 50K divided by eight, uh, 281 million, 281 million individuals. What is that in percentage? That's gonna equal to uh, 0 0.00018. Okay, so I, I rounded that number. Uh, so 0 0.00018, which is going to equal to 0.018%. Okay. 0 0.18. No, sorry. 0 0.018% of the total population. That's going to be the incidence, right? Those are going to be new cases out of 281 million people. Okay. So I'm going to show you how that... Uh, gets lumped into this uh, reporting figure of number of cases per 100,000. Okay, so we'll, we'll, I'll show you how to do that in a second. Let's skip down here to prevalence, okay? So with prevalence, if you did um, 850,000 individuals, and you divided by that, uh, divided that by the entire population of the United States at the time. So that's 281 million people. That's going to equal to uh, 0 0.003, which is going to be 0.3%. So in other words, 0.3% of the total population of the United States uh, was basically uh, infected with HIV, okay? That's in 2000, the year 2000. Now let's see how that translates to uh, the number of individuals infected per 100,000. So if you were to take 0.018% of 100,000, that would equal to 18 over 100,000 individuals, okay? So in other words, the incident of new cases annually in the year 2000 was 18 individuals per 100,000. Now the prevalence is gonna be a little bit different. The prevalence is gonna be 0.3% times 100,000. So the total number would actually be 300 individuals out of every 100,000 would have been infected with HIV. And so that would be the overall prevalence rate. Okay. So this is how incidence and prevalence is going to be reported for any given disease. It's going to be the number of individuals per 100,000. So for HIV AIDS, sorry, well, HIV specifically, it's going to be incidence. 18 individuals out of 100,000 are going to be receiving newly uh, new diagnoses of HIV. It's going to be 18 individuals per 100,000 within the U.S. Then that's going to contribute to the overall prevalence of cases, and that's going to be 300 over 100,000. 
Now, if you were to uh, do the math and you were to say, what's 18 over 100,000 uh, given the total population, which is 281 million, um, that would give you this rate, this figure right here, 500,000. That would be your incidence. That would be like the total number of incidents in the entire population of the United States. This figure right here is just out of 100,000. That's it. But then if you expand that beyond 100,000 and you encompass the entire population of the U.S., which is 281 million in the year 2000, that would be 50,000 new cases. Um, same thing, 300,000 uh, over, sorry, 300 over 100,000. That's the prevalence rate. If you were to uh, extrapolate that beyond 100,000 to the total population of the United States, aka 281 million, then that would be 850,000 um, individuals uh, in that total prevalence. So I know that this question was very confusing for a lot of you guys. I don't blame you. Um, I didn't really like the way that it was worded. I also didn't really like the way that the numbers weren't uh, specified. You kind of had to like, you know, uh, estimate where it was. Just by looking at the graph, you could estimate that 850K, um, that was the uh, the prevalence in the year 2000, 50K was the incidence in 2000. And then you just kind of take it from there. And this is kind of the basic uh, concept for when we calculate incidence and prevalence out of 100,000. So I really hope that helped. Um, I apologize for the confusion earlier today, but uh, yeah. Cool. All right. Have a great night, guys. Bye-bye.